I read a magazine called Seventeen. One thing I do when I read magazines, especially magazines aimed at young kids, is to count how many pages of advertisements there are before the index and to count how many pages of advertisements there are until there's an advertisement with a person of color in it. There were two full page spreads of advertisements before the index and it's all white girls, which was annoying. But there was the index at the bottom of the page and then above it there was an advertisement for makeup and there was, I assume, an Indian girl. She had a sari on and she had makeup on and she was really cute and super pretty. And then I was leaping through the rest of it and for ex excluding like the super commercialized advertisements like stuff for face cleanser and things like that, most of them, like the makeup stuff, the models were teenagers. They were obviously teenagers and they weren't all airbrushed to hell. And in about 80% of them there was at least one person of color. Now that's not like a whole rainbow, which is preferable, but it was pretty cool and I really appreciate that the pictures inside the magazine that were taken for the articles, none of them were airbrushed that I could tell. Usually it's really easy to tell. You could see pores, you could see zits, you could see all kinds of stuff. You know, te teeth that were obviously crooked were still crooked. They weren't magically straightened with Photoshop. There was this one article, they had a list of 17 teenage girls who were kicking ass and taking names. One girl, I can't remember her name, but she's a junior in high school and she's either 16 or almost 17, and she started her own company. It's something to do with keeping the world green and eco-friendly, and she started out when she was a little kid just making headbands out of scraps of fabric she found around the house, and people wanted those, and so she made more, and now she's working on her company. She makes clothing out of retro and vintage and like found and recycled fabric, which is really cool. And there were a couple other girls. That girl, she was African American, and then the next person was white, and then like the next three people on the list were all different people of color, and it was such an incredible feeling to see the spread of color and to see that, you know, when a girl will pick up this magazine, she will, if she's white, she will be introduced to new people and new experiences, and if she's not, not white, she will pick up a magazine and be able to identify with the people in that magazine and see that, oh, that girl's 16 and has her own company, and she's African American. I too am not white, and I could do that too. Um, another cool article they had, it was just a one-page spread, and it was talking about celebrity fad diet, and it used clear and concise language to debunk those diets and explain what's wrong with them and why you shouldn't do them and the things you can do instead. It was it was really refreshing. In People magazine, they say, oh, this is the new celebrity fad diet. You know, you should try it. Drink nothing but green tea all day, and you'll magically become slim. But in 17, they said that, you know, if you don't drink anything but green tea all day, it will slow your metabolism down because you're not getting enough calories. And what you should do instead is eat your normal meals, but afterwards drink green tea because then it will speed up your metabolism if you're interested in speeding up your metabolism. And they never said anything about losing or gaining weight. Most of, the, most of the fad diets that they targeted were things about speeding up metabolism or gaining energy or things like that. And it wasn't a whole lot of focus on weight, which was very refreshing. It was just, it was really good magazine. I feel like people should read Seventeen magazine instead of reading People and Us Weekly because they have articles in it that are real and can be ap applied to people and it's just, it's really nice and refreshing. I keep saying that, but it really is. Like, the language that they use in Seventeen is very blunt, but not crass. It's very down to earth, like, just what teenage girls need to hear and need to read when they're growing up. So that was my day today. I went to work. I read Seventeen. Good talk. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.